At Insightful Products, we help people walk. The schooner brace design provides compressive stabilization. For those of you that are familiar with the bracing options we have at Insightful, you're probably wondering how this leather gauntlet fits into the lineup. After all, many of the pathologies that are indicated for the schooner are also addressed by our Blaze MI design. So when should one design be chosen over another? Part of the answer is within this list. The primary contenders for the schooner are those with ankle arthritis or DJD. But what about those who have posterior tip? If the patient can tolerate good correction, the Blaze MI design is better. It has a more rigid frame and will not be as forgiving. The Blaze brace may not be appropriate for those with fragile skin and or bony prominences. That's where the schooner brace can provide the practitioner with success. One of the primary benefits of the schooner is in its ability to provide compression. It's the squeezing of the mid-tarsal area that separates the facets and can provide relief from painful grinding of the tarsal bones. Like the Blaze MI, the schooner design also seeks to achieve the derotation of the tibial talus mortis. But this is less of an emphasis and the schooner does not utilize the corrective ST pad. Part of the challenge we have with controlling midfoot architectural breakdown is with the management of the five bony bad boys of the medial column. The medial malleolus, tailor head, navicular, cuneiform, cuneiform, and the base of the first ray. Judging by the shape and the distance from the medial malleolus and from the first metatarsal head, it looks like this apex is the navicular. Since it is a circumferential corrective system and hammocks from the structure on the lateral side, the schooner design allows for a medial column cutout. Rather than going with a padded tongue, we chose a thin design. This is an acknowledgement that wrinkles will occur, but we felt that having less bulk on the instep was an advantage. Like the Blaze MI design, we take advantage of the fact that plastic under the fifth ray is unnecessary. A fifth ray cutout offers corrective opportunities and improves shoe fitting. Control of the forefoot is an important element of rotational management in the transverse plane. The Blaze MI design recruits the shoe with the medial distal extension and uses it like a clamp to prevent the forefoot from abducting. The circumferential design of the schooner doesn't need to depend on the shoe as much, but uses the same strategy. The winglet provides the architecture needed to reef in the forefoot. It is possible to control second rocker, but it doesn't happen often with leather gauntlet designs. The moment of force produced by the body weight leveraging on the tibia is just too large for polypropylene to endure. At first, we made the mistake of ignoring this fact and called our design compressive immobilization. This was rectified and we realized that stabilization is a more accurate word for the benefit that is delivered. With the blaze brace, the arch strap is anchored to a non-movable portion of the brace so that the effectiveness of the strap is not eliminated during dorsiflexion. With the goal of maintaining tension on the arch strap, the schooner's flex point was set at the forefoot, therefore preserving the correctional benefit of the arch strap. Most leather gauntlet designs have a flex point near the ankle. Locating the origin and the anchor points behind the flex point is key to decent efficacy of the arch strap. Manufacturing protocol for the integrated arch strap was not easily negotiated but the result produces a functional and neat solution. This is a strange shot, but it shows the inside of a schooner 
and you can see that there is no strap to get in the way of the foot as it enters the brace. It is clear to those that have worked with patients with these type of leather gauntlets that donning these types of braces can nearly be impossible for the physically disabled. In consideration of that, we, we provide two features that help. The use of the finger loop is self-evident, but the lacing system is worth talking more about. Speed lacing is a term used for the small D loops that replace the eyelets. These have a very low coefficient of friction and allow the lace to slide through easily. The top closures are hooks, since they offer immediate and complete availability of lace. This allows the lower portion to open fully for ease of donning. Flat laces lay flat and take up less bulk, but the real value is in the fact that they maintain their knots better. Speed laces also afford easier tightening and therefore better compression. Combined with brace flexibility in the circumferential direction, this creates substantial compression and stability. The lateral malleolar window reduces the need for adjustments and provides the lateral structure from which we can support the medial side. These design features combine to create the Schooner CS, which provides superior compression and stability for the foot and ankle.